Oh, thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, QBO projects. QBO projects. So if you need uh, uh, more detail uh, information or our, our article, you can visit our website. Here's a link. Here's a link. Uh, you can just go to new QBO and look for projects. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is uh, QBO projects overview. Uh, it, you you got to have a QBO uh, plus plus plan and advanced plan. So if you have plus plan and advanced plan, plan then you'll have QBO projects. And it's uh, not available in, uh, in certain international uh, countries, but it's available in major uh, major countries like U.S., U Australia, U.K., Canada, and other countries. Okay, so uh, currently QBO projects will not post labor costs to projects from QBO payroll or TC. So if you have payroll, uh, it will not post to projects at this point. So if you have labor-intensive project with payroll costs, being the largest cost item in a project, it will not give you a clear picture of uh, uh, how much money you are making on each project. So they also have a limited uh, uh, project reports at this time, and uh, there's no report on uh, hours work by employees on on customer project, uh, you know, either. So, uh, so this is the labor part and some other. Uh, uh, cost and uh, uh, so the good news is uh, they are currently working on to add labor cost to project uh, hopefully uh, it should be out by uh, summer of 2019 okay what's the bottom line here so the bottom line is QB project is is mainly focused on tracking sales related transactions like uh, uh, invoice revenue, sales revenue from sales you see you know, that type, and uh, uh, as I said, there's no uh, labor cost tracking at this time, and also some other cost. Um, so uh, uh, if you are uh, converting from QuickBooks desktop, you may want to think it over. Uh, you have more features in desktop uh, than uh, uh, QBO uh, for project right now. Okay, so I'm going to go to uh, QBO file. I'm going to show you how QBO projects work. So as you can see here in the left navigation bar, I already have project. So just in case you don't see it, that means you need to go to the gear icon and turn this on. The select account and settings and then advance. Let's go to advance and you'll see projects in here so if it's off all you have to do is uh, click it and then check this box and it will say organize all job related activity in one place so that's what it's all about so I'll just click save so now you should see projects on the left navigation bar and uh, okay another thing is while you are uh, on uh, account and settings this one is very important too. So if you are, uh, how you're billing expenses back to customers, uh, if you're just tracking or you are billing back with some markup, so either way, uh, you need to have, uh, click this one and then you got to check this box, you know, uh, and you, you can set up a default markup. You can always change it when you enter it, enter expenses, but uh, you can have a default rate so that you don't have to, uh, type it every time so uh, and so based on this setup you basically mark up 20% and then bill to uh, bill to uh, your customers so you have to bill to customers that's also manual process so it's track billable expense and items at income and so you have uh, income a single account or multiple accounts if you want multiple accounts you can select that one uh, or single one all right and so what that will do is uh, when you go to chart of accounts let's say uh, for example on this one uh, cost wise 
okay, so I have a cost of labor. Let's say uh, you're using uh, labor and you want to mark up uh, cost on that labor. Uh, let's see another one here. So these are all markup ones. Let's say you buy equipment and then mark up certain percentages on, uh, on, on uh, expense and then you will bill back to customer. So you just select to use this checkbox and select where do you want to uh, post this income, delivered expense income. So that's the one I have in here. Okay, so you got to select uh, uh, the billable expense map to your revenue account if you want it, you know. Okay, so like this, same thing. Okay, so I think the startup accounts is all set up and this, and the uh, this the gear is gear setup is all done. So let's go back to projects on the left navigation bar. I already have these three projects set up. I just can show you how I want to do it. All right, let's say the project is, uh, so you can just name uh, the project as you need it. And let's say the customer is uh, a new one. And let's say the customer is a customer, customer, customer for, and if you need detail, you can add in here. So this is how you have to do it. This is where you need to add uh, address, phone number, and all customer detail information. I'm just gonna do the minor one is to save it. And the notes wise is basically uh, how long this project can start just for your own internal uh, record and the uh, revenue target and uh, uh, that kind of stuff, milestone date or whatever. You just type it here just for your internal information. Okay. And so now as you can see here, I have this and it's in progress. Now, if you want to change the status, you can always do it. You have to manually do it that too. Okay, let's uh, now go back to dashboard again. All right, so go to projects again. Let's say you want to uh, uh, add transaction to these customers, you know. All right, so the customer uh, is the uh, the parent one and the project is the, like a sub-customer type. All right, just uh, you want to add transaction, just click uh, your project, all right, and add to project. What do you want to add? You want to add income or, uh, or what do you want to add? Let's say I just want to uh, add expense in here, okay, and then I want to build back to uh, uh, my customer. All right, so expense in here, okay, and who's your pay? Let's say, uh, all right, so here's Sam Smith is my uh, consultant and does work for this project, okay. So this select, it's a uh, so let's say you select one account in here, uh, this, the account you want to select, let's say. Uh, okay, the contractor one. Let's see, hope they have one in here. Subcontract. Okay. All right. So that, as you can see, you make sure you select the right customer. So the customer one and a project. So make sure you select the projects you want, not the customer one. If you select this, then it won't show up on your project. So make sure you select this. All right. Let's say uh, it's one thousand dollars, right? And uh, let's say the reference number, whatever you have there, okay. And so basically, what the saying is, uh, you're paying one thousand dollars to Sam Smith, and then you have a twenty percent markup, and then you bill back to your customer. All right, so let's save this one again. All right, let's say another one here. Okay, so you have some rental equipment. Okay and then select your expense account let's say in this case uh, uh, i have uh, all equipment rental cost of sales that one okay so this one uh, i don't have the markup set up yet it's not linked there yet okay so uh, in that case what you need to do is uh, go to chart of accounts again equipment one and this edit all right so this is the one you want this is the one you want right okay seven so close okay so go back to projects back to project expense okay and expense equipment rental 
customer is this, the mark group. So the markup is this. And I'll say the amount is one thousand dollars and it's billable. Okay, so it's billable. And uh, so save and close. Save and you will say, oop. I'm not selecting transaction, transaction in here. This is the rental one. Equipment rental. Okay. All right, save and new. So you got an idea. I'll say another one here, Home Depot. Let's say bottom uh, materials. Materials. All right, so this one you want to use the cost of sold account or job material, you know, depends how, you, how it's set up. That's going to use the uh, cost of sold. All right. What is it this? Let's say the markup is, uh, is different on this one. Let's say 15%. Okay. All right, so this should do it. Okay, so now you go in here, and let's say you want to invoice all the, uh, well, you can see the unbill expenses in here now. So, see, these are the unbill expenses, right? Okay. Uh, now, all you have to do is select uh, invoice. As you can see here, uh, you can add all the expenses uh, to your customer. Just select all and add all. Okay, so you can invoice all these back to your customer. So you say markup 300, 200, 200. Uh, when you invoice, you don't see the markup, it's just on your screen. So the save and close. All right. So if you want to see the invoice, the invoice 4700, you can see it. So it will see in here, but if you look at the preview it, you won't see it. So if the invoice will come out something like this. So you need to change the format in here. It doesn't, it doesn't say very much in here. Okay. All right, so and now if you want to see the project report right here see you got you have this separate markup in here for seven hundred dollars and uh, and this is your direct revenue and then you have all the cost uh, detail in here as you can see here it's the cost and the income and then the markup and the profit okay so that's one example I'll say there's another project. Uh, in this case, let's say project is 201. Okay. So in this case, let's just say uh, uh, it's not you're not billing uh, your customer based on expense. So you incur expense and you just bill, uh, you know, a certain fixed amount to your customer. So it's a fixed amount to your customer. So let's just say invoice in here. Okay, as you can see here, make sure it's customer two, uh, the parent one, and the project two or one is the, uh, the sub customer. You got to select both, and don't select customer two like this one here. Then you don't show up on your project. Okay, let's say I'm going to invoice uh, ten thousand dollars for this project and it's not based on your uh, cost it's a fixed invoice amount okay and now you got uh, you have some expenses to to be paid for this project let's say this is expense okay and let's say this one is uh, a home depot and supplies and material this is not billable, so uncheck that box, and that means it's a, let's just change the amount in here. Let's say you had to pay uh, $7,000 for that item, and it's project related for this. So make sure you select project, customer and project both. Then it will show uh, the $7,000 is related to 
the invoice ten thousand dollars all right remember you on make sure to uncheck this believable box it's not believable again you already invoice ten thousand dollars it's a fixed price uh, project okay so now if you look at the project you will see ten thousand your invoice seven thousand your cost and you made three thousand dollars profit how cool is that okay and uh, one more thing here uh, before I wrap this up see that they have non billable time unbilled time expenses but there is no non billable expenses so in this case uh, you don't see the seven thousand if you want to view this you don't see this seven thousand dollars not here okay so that's one uh, issue with uh, this uh, projects at the time but uh, okay but you need to uh, you need to see the transactions right here San Jackson wife so you have to see the transactions uh, list like this one seven ten thousand seven thousand uh, or you need to click the project profitability report uh, if you just want to see uh, your non billable expenses uh, you won't see it in here the problem with this is let's say uh, this is the you know you forgot to check the billable billable uh, portion billable box you know, just missed it you know let's just say like this one in here so let's just say you missed it you know just uncheck this you missed it then there's no way to find out so you got to select uh, make sure you know uh, Whenever, if it's billable, make sure to make sure to check billable box. Otherwise, you're gonna have a different way of uh, searching out uh, uh, unbelievable time, on uh, unbelievable expense, uh, you know, unbelievable non-believable expense in here. All right. So, uh, so this is how it works so far, and uh, you know, visit our website. That's our website newqbo.com newqbo.com and uh, be sure to subscribe our youtube channel if you like our video thank you bye